I am a realtor. I sell homes. Great. In very yeah. simple terms, what is it that you do each day? Oh, gosh. A very uh, lot of different things. Mostly work with clients listing and selling their homes. Uh, we do a lot of troubleshooting for people, trying to figure out what may be um, issues that come up with selling their home, listing their home, any kind of uh, defects or you know, making sure that they're in contact with the right people to help them get through the listing and selling process um, easily. Okay. What led you to where you're at now in terms of a career and education path? Oh, gosh. Um, I actually, my, <laughs> I have an associate's degree in legal secretarial science and, you know, what, uh, worked as a legal secretary for probably about eight or nine years out of high school while I went to school. And then um, stayed at home and raised my family and then kind of worked on and off part time for attorneys in town, filling in for secretaries when they were sick. And just before I became a realtor, I had gone back to work part time as a legal secretary um, was a little bit disenchanted with it and I had started to take classes towards a bachelor degree and I was actually going to go to law school. Oh, I yeah. thought, uh, I mean, I was really, I really enjoyed law. So, uh, my girlfriend started her own company, was in the process of starting her own company and she was actually the impetus behind my getting my license. She, uh, wanted me to get my license and work with her and so I thought I'll try that and see what happens and that's how I ended up a realtor. <laughs> Great. What? Well, I'll put it this way. On a, on a typical day, and we understand kind of what you do, but on a typical day when you, you know, go into the office or maybe you don't even go into the office, but what does it look like, you know, from from morning till, you know, when you're done for the day? Okay. Well, like you said, a I, I, lot of, you know, by virtue of the Internet, I can do so much of what I need to do at home. When I list a house, I, you know, go into the computer and put all the information in there. So I do a lot of computer work. Um, do a lot of just information gathering from people. If I've just listed a house, I need to go in and measure. I need to go in and take notes on maybe what improvements they made in the last four or five years, what issues they've had, try to gather as much information so that I can market the home properly for them. So I may have uh, appointments outside the office. I may be sitting in front of the computer. I may be out measuring, taking photographs. Uh, sometimes when we have people coming into town new, I'll do community tours for them. I've actually, you know, sometimes go out and do speeches. But the, to become a good realtor and to really gather clients or, you know, to obtain clients, it's not good for me to sit in the office. Right. It's better for me to really be outside the office um, in the community, being involved in community groups, wearing my name tag so people know who I am, what I do. Um, so, and my day starts, you know, sometimes starts at six in the morning. I know, you know, sometimes eight, uh, sometimes goes till eight, nine, ten o'clock at night. It just, every day is different. And that's what I like about it. You know, it's just a varied, no day is the same. Great. What's the best thing about your job? The best thing about my job is probably the people that I get to meet. Uh, the diversity in my job, because like I said, it's never the same. Uh, when I was a legal secretary, it was a lot of sitting in front of the computer and at the desk, the typewriter, whatever. Um, this job, I can be, you know, the other day I was driving down the street taking pictures of different houses or checking on some of, I do some REO properties, repost properties that I have to check on. It was a beautiful day and I'm out driving and I'm thinking, what other job? Could I be working and be outside and be able to do this? So those are probably just the flexibility and, like I said, the people, a um, lot of different things. It really does have a lot of good opportunities. On the flip side of that, it, you know, <laughs> if you stack up all the responsibilities you have, you know, what is what is the item that's on the bottom of that list? What could you do without or you enjoy the least? Oh, geez. Um, probably... I think a lot of people think that we should be working 24-7. Uh, they'll call at the last minute and say, I'm sitting outside of a house. You know, can you come and show it to me? I think people just forget that we have families and we have lives outside of real estate. You know, if you're in any other profession, you know, you work 9 to 5, you know, maybe Saturdays and Sundays you're off, whatever your job entails. 
But a realtor, I think people really just expect that they can pick up the phone anytime and have us run out and, you know, take care of them. And that's probably the downside is it's hard to, it's hard to say no. It's hard to um, promote yourself that you are a full-time realtor, but yet I don't work Saturdays and Sundays or whatever. You know, it's, they just expect a lot out of you and your time. Okay. Top three skills to be successful at what you do. What are they? Oh, geez. Probably the biggest one is to be a people person, to be able to go out and meet people and um, just be comfortable with people because you meet, everybody's different. You know, and it's, you know, you, you never know who your next client's going to be or what type of person they're going to be, how you're going to communicate with them. Uh, probably um, detail orientation. You've really got to uh, be able to gather information from people and then put it out in a very detailed manner. Um, I tell everybody the biggest thing is neither they nor I want to promote or advertise or market something that's not true. Um, so you, you really have to be careful about how you market things so that no one, you can't get into trouble because you're marketing something improperly or incorrectly. Um, um, and the other thing is being able to say you don't know that answer, but you'll find out the answer. Mm -hmm. I think sometimes we try to be all things to all people, and it is very hard sometimes to admit I might not know what you're asking me, but the thing you got to learn is I you got to say to them, then I'll find out. I'll find that information out for you. I'll put you in touch with the person who can answer that question. You know, they look to you for so many questions and so much information, and there's no way I can provide all of it. But if you're good at it, you know who to put them in touch with to get those questions answered. Right. If someone wanted your job, what are two short-term action steps that they could get going on to start heading down that path? Okay. The first one would be to find a good school to take the real estate classes. You have to have 120 hours of real estate classes. And um, a lot of community colleges provide those classes. There are some specialty colleges. I don't want to promote anyone, but there's colleges that do like credit for insurance people or real estate people. Uh, so you need to find a college or a school. Um, I don't know that you can take those classes online yet. I think you still have to be in a classroom type setting for the 120 hours. Um, so that would be the first thing. And the second thing is, in order to apply for your real estate license, you have to be associated with a broker. You can't just go out. You can take the classes, but when you go to sit for your test, you actually have to be signed in with a brokerage. Um, so the second thing I would say is start to interview the different brokerages or the different real estate companies in your area because it's important for them to hire you and to put you in the place that you're comfortable, but it is very important for you to find the place that you feel comfortable. You don't need to think you've got to run down to the first real estate company and put your license there. You really need to go in and ask them questions too. It should be an interview that takes place between the two of you because you want to find the right fit too. Do you want a company where there's no education, where you really work very independently, or do you want a company that offers weekly meetings, weekly education opportunities? Uh, there's a lot of different uh, office or brokerage um, type settings, and you want to find the one that fits you the best. Great. Those are all the questions I have for you. Thank that's you. it? Okay. Yeah, that's it. So thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Thank you. It's my pleasure, Mike. Okay.